Hi guys! I know it's been for five ever since I've uploaded and there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life and if you follow me, that's my dog. On any of my regression social media, you'll probably have kept up with me. You know what's going on. You know I haven't posted. If you haven't followed me on those social medias, they're linked down below if you would like to. Most of them are private though, so like if you look like a creep, I'm probably not going to let you in, but like you know what I mean. Today, I'm excited because I'm filming a really good video for you. I am filming my regression favorites of 2017. So basically, all the stuff that I have been loving that is like tied around my regression and me being small is going to be in this video. All the stuff that I have been loving and obsessed with that is all regression related. So we are going to talk about that today. And I get to show you guys some of my favorite stuff and products and things. So yeah. There is a lot of stuff to the side of me on my bed that I'm going to be showing you. I'm super excited. So let's get going. The first favorite that I'm going to show you is my top three favorite onesies of this year that I have been really, really loving. And I'm pretty sure I definitely did get all of these this year. The first onesie that is in my favorites for 2017 is this very um, amazing white Captain adorable onesie. It is from a fairly new brand called Little Two. They sell on Amazon. It's super cool And their stuff is way cheaper than pretty much every other place on the planet and it's available for prime So that's really cool and you get it super fast and they on their website I'm pretty sure they have like worldwide flat rate shipping, which is really nice But it says Captain adorable because I'm Captain adorable like Captain of a ship and it's just a good, good time. The next onesie on my favorites list was actually given to me by somebody pretty special, and that's probably why it's not my favorites list. Honestly, it is the new Smiling Space onesie that Onesies Down Under sells, and it's like a new space onesie they have. This one has a lap shoulder design on it, like some of theirs do, and all of the planets are smiling, and it's really good. So it's good and special to me, and means a lot, and it's like really cute and soft, and I just like wearing it, so. The last onesie on this list is probably my hands down favorite that I've gotten this year. It is this dino onesie that is front snap, so it snaps up the front as well as crotch snaps, which is super nice, but like, front snaps guys and it is from Rears Inc and I'm actually now a Rears Inc affiliate if you follow my social media you'll know that if you follow me here you probably don't but I am a Rears Inc affiliate now which is super duper cool which means you can use my code Riley to get 5% off at Rears which is super nice and that's a discount and yay but Rears sells really awesome stuff they sell a ton of regression items and I will probably make a video about like all the stuff that they sell and all the Rears products that I have but this onesie is actually one of my favorites. The colors are amazing. The fit of Rear's onesies is my favorite fit of literally every onesie ever. And it's front snaps. Front snaps. I love it. On to the next section of my favorites, which is going to be my favorite passies of 2017. The first two, a very special someone got me. The same special someone, because I have a special someone. Yay. Are these two ASC passies. They are, got, I got, I'm pretty sure we got them from Amazon. They're on Amazon. And they are adult pacifiers, yes. And they have a clear nipple, and it's just stretchy and good. And I like it a lot better than the baby pants one. I told you guys that before. I really don't like the baby pants nipples. I like the clear ones. But they have the clear adult nipples and this one is a transparent shield and this one is obviously a green shield with a little blue thing And then this is not part of my favorites, but it's the one I'm using today And it's like basically the opposite of that one, which is super cute The next ones are actually two modded baby pacifiers because I'm starting to grow super fond of modded pacifiers More than the like adult big shields. I really am not a fan of the adult big shields actually anymore Which is a thing so but these pacifiers the buttons came from one pacifier and the shields were from another but I didn't like the shields on the one and I didn't like the buttons on the other so I bought both of them and switched them up so you can't find them like this you're gonna have to find like the actual separate packs of pacifiers but I modded them with the adult silicone nipple that has the stuff on the sides that's the good kind I don't like the bad kind but this one has a dark blue shield that I got from a different set and the button is a little glow-in-the-dark elephant which you can't see super well because if I move it closer you won't be able to see it, but there are pictures of it on my Instagram and then this one is part of the same set that the elephant came in and the shield is from the same set that this shield with the buttons from the same set that this button is and it's a little moon and a star and they're sleeping and both of these are glow in the dark which is like the best thing ever my dog buddy actually ate my first ever modded pacifier which was a glow in the dark ma'am and my favorite thing ever and I was super sad so I was like okay gotta go get some no new glow in the dark ma'ams but I 
didn't like any of the shields because they were all like the baby like small like butterfly shields and I don't like those so I got these. Also if there was just a really loud noise I'm sorry I didn't notice that my booster fan was on. The next set of pacifiers that are my favorite is another set of modded baby pacifiers and I actually picked them up from a local shop. I'm pretty sure the brand of baby pacifiers is parents choice but they were the easiest things to mod ever. I just had to pop this little part out and it literally just flathead screwdriver just and it came out and I was able to mod them with the same nipples but I have this little primary colored pacifier and it's not Nook brand so I did not mod a Nook. I think it's parents choice but it looks like a Nook but I have this little one and then this one that came in the same set and I'm actually obsessed with them. These are like my favorite thing ever. They're so good. Now on to diapers. I'm also just realizing that this video is going to be really long. Sorry. <laughs> First fave diaper of 2017 is actually available on Amazon and is less expensive than most of the other adult diapers that are out there that are not in Continence brand. And it is actually the Fab Sense City Print. And I'm pretty sure this is actually marketed as an Incontinence brand, but it's printed. So, but it's green and it has music notes and clouds and stuff and like little buildings. And it's called the City Print and it's got a landing zone and it's good and I really like it and it's a fun time and it's just one of my faves. Fave number two is my all-time favorite dip ever of all time ever and has always been since I tried it and that is the AB Universe Little Paws. They have the uh, Fade When Wet stamps and just a bunch of little stuff like rattles and pacifiers and little anthropomorphic animals wearing dips and it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life and I really love this dip and it's really good and absorbent and squishy and crinkly and just got good side paneling and it's my favorite colors and I love it. And my third favorite dip of this year is actually made by probably the best diaper brand out there. It is Rears. I'm not just saying that because I'm a promoter. I've bought from Rears and done a ton of stuff for Rears before I was an affiliate for them. You guys know that. I have an old video unboxing my Princess Pink Rears that is like really old and I was definitely not an ambassador then. But my favorite dip of this year that is Rears is the Rears Safari. It's literally the thickest diaper on the market. It is also one of the most absorbent diapers on the market currently. I think they're about to be beat out by ABU though because of the peak ABUs, but it's crinkle and good and all around Safari print. And they have other accessories that match it, like, you know, onesies and stuff, so that's cool. On to the next wonderful thing on my list that is the shows that I have been loving that are like regression based, whatever. I actually discovered Paw Patrol this year for the first time. I've never watched Paw Patrol before. I've heard a ton of people talk about it, and I'm not very far into it. I've only seen a couple episodes, but I really like it. It's really good and makes me feel tiny. One of my other favorite shows is actually Sophia the First. I'm sure if you follow me, you've heard me talk about it. Sophia is really great. They have a lot of good lessons in the show and just makes me feel super small. And like, honestly, I can watch Sophia when I'm small or I'm not small. Like, it's that good of a show. And then the Netflix Care Bear series. So welcome to Care A Lot and Care Bears Cousins. I have always been obsessed with Care Bears. I was obsessed with Care Bears as a bio kid and I'm still obsessed with them now. I am not a super big fan of the old vintage Care Bears actually because I actually was more involved with those when I was a bio kid and they remind me too much of my bio childhood and I don't like that because I try to block out my bio childhood so I like the new Care Bears. As far as apps that I have been loving, Club Penguin Island is definitely up there. I have been slacking on playing it recently but I'm pretty sure it did come out this year. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in Club Penguin Island and it's one of my favorite games ever and now you can like customize igloos and like play in game games with other people, like other people that are currently online. It's really cool. Highly suggest you check it out. Another fave that came out this year is Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. That's super exciting. I have always wanted to play Animal Crossing, but I never had a DS to play it on. And I know that Pocket Camp is not New Leaf. Like I have a DS now and I've been playing New Leaf, so I know. But like Pocket Camp is really good for on the go, just like de-stressing, just very basic game that's good, but it's super fun. And there's a lot of like cool things that you can do in it. And then I've also found the app Toddler Puzzle, which is obviously intended for young children. You can take your finger over and color in a picture and then it breaks up the picture and you gotta make a puzzle on your phone and it's really cute and good and makes me feel super tight. And as far as YouTubers and like stuff that I have been watching, I've actually been not really watching other regression YouTubers because A, there aren't any and B, I don't want to see yucky stuff so like I'm just not looking for that right now. But I have been watching Cookie Swirl C. I really like Cookie Swirl C. Cookie Swirl C does a lot of good videos with a lot of different toys, especially some of my favorite toys and I love Cookie Swirl's channel. You should definitely go check out Cookie Swirl. I love 
Cookie Swirl. <laughs> the other YouTube channel that I've actually been loving is technically the channel for a show in the UK, but I always watch it on YouTube, so I'm considering a YouTube channel, and that is In the Night Garden. In the Night Garden, I think it's made by the same people who make Teletubbies, but it's a super good, really small, like, British show, and it makes me feel super duper, like, regressed and tiny, and I listen to the soundtrack all the time, and I watch the show all the time, and there are, like, hour and a half long episodes, and it's so, so good. So if you have not heard of In the Night Garden, I highly recommend you go check it out. Somebody on my Tumblr requested that I talk about my favorite stents that are pertaining to my regret so I'm also going to do that. My favorite scent in general is like sugar cookie or Christmas cookie that is a very like sweet like just warm baked good scent that I really really love. Always loved it. Love it in my regression. I love it outside of my regression. I love it inside my regression. It's just really really good. I actually my favorite scent ever is the Christmas cookie candle from Yankee Candle. So if you ever want to get me one of those my P.O. box is below. <laughs> lavender has also been a super calming scent to me recently. I have a lavender pillow mist. I have lavender baby powder. I have lavender baby lotion. I have lavender diapers. <laughs> I have lavender like everything. And lavender is a just very like calm relaxing like nighttime smell for me and I really love it and it relaxes me. And my third favorite scent, which is like a really good scent obviously, is baby powder. Baby powder makes me feel so small instantly. The smell of it, the smell of baby powder, the smell of baby lotion. I actually just picked up a room freshener at Dollar Tree the other day, which I have to find because I don't know where the bag is, but I picked up an air freshener at Dollar Tree that smells like baby powder and it's the best thing ever. I smelled it in the store, I was obsessed with it, so I got it, but I have to find it. Toys! Obviously, if you've seen everything I've been talking about, I've been low-key obsessed with LOL surprise dolls and for my birthday I went to Walmart and this was on sale and I totally just hit my camera this is the big 50 plus surprise LOL doll but I actually have all of my LOLs stored in it because I had a couple before that so all of those dolls and all the dolls are in this bag that actually my little tooth onesie came in so that's cool. Another one of my fave toys this year I actually discovered because they were carrying the sets when I first found them at Dollar Tree. So they were super cheap to start out with and then I started getting like the actual toy sets and not just like the little blind bags and stuff that they had at Dollar Tree. But that is my mini Mixie Cues. This is actually like a carrying case set that I got on somewhere and I have the three rooms that I have in here and then this one is actually a big one that folds out into like a whole dance floor and arcade area and there's like a little elevator and this is the carrying case that I got but these are actually what the little dolls are and I am in love with them so much and I have literally over 40 of them because you can buy like two pack blind bags at Dollar Tree for a dollar so every time I go to Dollar Tree it's like okay there's another dollar that I could buy a mixie cue with and that's usually what I end up doing. And because of that I have this entire bin full of just mixies. The last toy that I have been obsessed with is actually one that I've been wanting for a super long time but when I went to Disney World in December I found it and I freaked out and I'm so excited. So I present to you I was finally able to get the animators collection dolls of my favorite princesses. So I have Merida right here. Merida's one of my faves. She's always underrated. Everybody always forgets about her and everything that has to do with Disney princesses and it makes me upset. But I have my little Merida doll and then also because they had both of them I have Rapunzel as well. And both Merida and Rapunzel come with little stuffies. Rapunzel's is of uh, Pascal and Merida's is a little horse. And those were available which is super awesome but sometimes I like smaller things to play with and these were available. This is the box Merida came in but inside the box that Merida came in I have 12 mini animators collection dolls from the Disney set. So I have my little Merida, I have my little Snow White, I have a ton of other dolls and other princesses. I'll probably do a full video on them, like little Belle, and there's just a ton of them in here that I am absolutely adoring and am in love with. The last thing to talk about on my regression favorites list is my favorite music. And honestly, the one artist that I have been listening to in my regression more than anything else is the Harmonica Pocket. It is like an indie kids band. I don't really know how to describe it, but they do covers of really awesome kids 
kids songs and also write their own and it's really great and good. The next video I actually post on this channel will be my small space playlist so you guys will get to see a look into all of the regression music that I like. So that is coming next. That's why I'm not spending a ton of time on music here, but that is coming, I promise. That's all I got. Those were all of my regression favorites of 2017. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have some favorite things and if you do, please tell me what your favorite regression things were in the comments down below. You can subscribe if you want because I'm hopefully going to be posting more consistent content. Yikes. And all of my social medias and stuff are below so you can go follow those if you like. I also wanted to tell you guys that I do have an Amazon wish list that is linked below. Please don't feel obligated and I also have a P.O. box that's open so if you guys want to send me like letters or a little like prezzies or like whatever you want like I'd love to get letters from you guys or like pictures and stuff and like I have a couple from people that I have hung up on my walls and stuff so if you guys want to send me letters or anything like that the address to my P.O. box is also in the description below and you can send me stuff and I will be sure to get you a shout out or reply back or something I promise all right guys I love you so much I'm gonna go hang out and have some fun so I will talk to you guys soon goodbye